Hello everyone, my name is Nikesh Varya and uh, yes, in the previous video we have learned how to do uh, our uh, use uh, micros and how to do stuff with the micros using button and some functionality. So that was the very basic one. So right now what we will do, we will uh, we are going to format our uh, data that we get in Excel and we will uh, do use of these macros. We will uh, format in such a way that in a one click, uh, whatever these changes we need in the table, we will do it in a one click. Okay, so what will be the prerequisite? As the previous video also we have known, that we need to have a Microsoft Excel and the basic knowledge of button and some logic because there will be something like total count, percentage, those things we should know uh, the basic of Excel so that we can start and do the macro. Okay, right now let's start with this. So, suppose I have the data. It is like very unformatted one. So what I have to do, I need to do a title color with something. Then I need to uh, format this way. And all the data I need to format in a single format. Then there is a value of a total that I need to do. So all these things we can do only with the one click. So which is the beauty of the macro. So let, let's start with this one. So what I will do first, I will click on record macros. So I, I have to give the name, right? So I will give a name and format. Control Shift F I am typing for this shortcut key. So first what we are going to do, we have, it is in the first sheet. Uh, so we will copy this sheet and paste it in the second sheet. Okay. Then what we are going to do, uh, we are uh, clicking here and doing Control All. Then in the Home tab, we are choosing the border then we are formatting into single one so that uh, nothing will uh, affect to the formatting one so all the things are into one place okay this this will be the better one okay then now what we are doing putting all this thing in the center merge in the center then student name merge in center then subject this all they should be connected so merge and center will be the better one for this and we need to color this one so what i will going to do I will put uh, this as an orange color, same orange color, then same orange color. Then this is the internal subject for the same. So I will put some lighter color. Okay. Then these are the number. So this is the data of the uh, column. So we have to put some different color. Suppose I'm putting this uh, light gray. Then what I'll do, we have to do total of this one. So total will be something like that uh, we are getting it. So putting some black color, then uh, we'll do text as a white color. Okay. So then what we are going to do, we will add all the value that uh, student got in the subject. So here we are clicking here and we are putting this way. So this is done for one thing. So we have to just click here and drag on all the sheet. So this way we can complete our formatting. So with the with the one click we will get this kind of result so need to stop this one stop recording okay so now we got this result but uh, it will happen like this suppose i'm deleting this one and i'm clicking Control shift f so it will do formatting in this magical way this is the beauty of macros so let's do with some button so what we will going to do we will insert one button here and uh, we will add this button place here what we will do we will uh, put a name we have to choose the format on which uh, when we are clicking on the button or which uh, uh, macro will run so this macro that i have name as format it will run okay so here the button name is there we need to put some uh, button which we can understand the format i am writing so just uh, we need to click here if we click here all formatting will be done so this way we can do number of time uh, so what i why i have did uh, the copy pasting of another sheet because this there may be a chances that data will update so if you click here then another sheet you will get uh, that will be generated so we are not using the uh, initial uh, uh, sheet so we are copying it into another one in this thing to uh, should be done uh, while we are recording not uh, before recording so that uh, all the process can be done automatically so again we may click we will get only sheet and their respective uh, what we are uh, designed and we have done 
scope you have understood this one so this is the basics one that you can uh, do it as a uh, macros there will be many uh, many such things that we can do it if you like my video then you can do subscribe to my video and if you want some more technical related stuff and you have if you have some queries then you can ask me you can subscribe for the more video related to all these things yeah that's all for this video thank you